Hi, my name is Rick. So today we're going to talk about this rhododendron. Um, this rhododendron has huge amounts of spring growth that's happening from it, and it's clearly uh, growing out over the hardscape, and we want to kind of bring it back a little bit more into its place to make it more neat and tidy. Uh, so basically there's a couple different things we want to talk about. One, using the right tool. Obviously this is not the right tool for little tiny delicate branches. So we want to use a nice pruner. Basically what we're going to be looking at is trying to uh, reduce cut back these variants and what we're looking for is actually looking for a nice live branch. So in order to do that, there's a couple different reasons why we want to look for a live branch. One, if you just cut a branch in the middle, it's going to look ugly. Uh, it's going to look dead and you're going to get huge amounts of water sprouts from it. If you can take it to a good live branch, what that's actually going to do is that's going to uh, minimize the amount of water sprouts that grow from it and it's going to make it look a lot more natural. So when you do something like this and you're taking it back, that cut is pretty hidden. It looks a lot more natural than having a stick like that sticking out. So. The other, the other question I get all the time is, what about the flowers for next year? Well, if you can do this right after the spring growth, you don't have to be concerned about that for a couple different reasons. One, you can see the flowers here, back uh, to where we want it to prune. We're not even gonna touch these flowers um, because of basically where they are in the rhododendron hedge. Uh, the ones that are growing out that are the variants that we're actually going to prune uh, will come back next year, if you can do it right after the spring growth. So I'm gonna do this little zone right here and uh, we'll talk about that here in just a second. All right, so there's a couple of things that I did here that I want you to notice. One of them is that there's still a bunch of flowers in this entire section. Uh, even though I cut back this huge amount of hedge and there's still more to go if I really wanted to go and do more, but there's tons of flowers in this entire area. And so there's a couple different things besides that. The other thing is that basically I created a bunch of separation between this hardscape. And what that does, this hardscape is obviously a curb here, but in your house it might be some hardscape for a, um, for a retaining wall, it might be some hardscape for something else like a pond. Basically, if you can create some separation, what that does is that creates an, uh, it makes it look more neat and tidy, um, and it definitely creates more order um, in your yard. So if we can just do those couple of things, it should be pretty nice and easy to clean up rhododendrons or any kind of ornamentals uh, or small shrubs in your yard. If you have any other shrubs or ornamental, uh, ornamental trees that you'd like to see uh, pruned on here, let us know and we'd be more than happy to do that for you.